We're on. Hey, we're going. So I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a note from you. We are backstage with Rick Cosnet. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a show, by the way. Uh, formerly we're Eddie, pitching it. Yeah, formerly Eddie Thon. As long as I can be your co-host. Well. Formerly Eddie Thon. Yeah. <laughs> formerly Eddie Eddie Thon. Well, hopefully, formerly and future Eddie Thon. Yeah, exactly. Because so well, there's always a chance with the multiverse. Yeah, there's always a chance with the multiverse. But I just got off stage with you and Robbie and Mel. You did. Uh, Thank you so much for that. I, I, Thank you for having us. Honestly, yeah. we had so much fun. I, I, I seem to do a lot of panels with Robbie Amal. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you guys had that. We do a little double there. act. Yeah. So, but I mean, I, I appreciate you spending. How'd I do anyway? I'm going to. You did amazingly well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was incredible. It was I'm seamless. Very, I'm very self conscious about it. So I, really? I, yeah. So I. You were amazing. Thank You're you. amazing. I stuttered a little there bit. There you are. I, my mind went like completely blank for a second. But that was funny. You see, mistakes are always the best part sometimes about things. Yeah. That's what we say when we're filming, too. Um, unless you really mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. usually, usually those little mistakes are the kind of the magic, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I'm kind of. I, I loved your character, Eddie, in The Clash. And then I haven't had a chance to Thank watch you. Quantico Stop yet. It. Yeah. But I want to, because I've heard great things about the show. But now I know you're not on Quantico anymore either. I know. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, let's just say I'm in the first half of season one. But you should watch it. I want to. It's fun. Yes. Um, my character is really fun. What's what's on the uh, what's in the future? Um, at the moment, I'm doing a romantic comedy. Um, it's a movie called Happily Never After. And um, yeah, it's a really cute little little piece with Danielle Savory. And um, yeah, I, 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 I'm really enjoying it. Um, I just came from filming. Um, I got in early this morning. I'm going back to film on Monday. So, have, yeah. How do you? Is this your first time in Atlanta? Have you been here before? Um, yeah, I was here filming the Vampire Diaries for six months. Okay. Um, and that was three years ago now. So it's kind of cool to come back here three years later. That yeah. was my first big American TV show. You know, I was petrified. I was I was um, I was paranoid that I had a sty on my eye and that you know that I that was gonna get some kind of like, um, but I got through it and and that character was so wonderful. It's it's nice to kind of come back to Atlanta now and kind of reminisce on how great a time that was um, for me. Um, it's all about me at the moment, oh, obviously. That's what, that's what this interview is. It's backstage with Rick Cosnet. Exactly. Um, I'm you know what? I'm just for 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 giggles. The next interview I do tomorrow. I'm going to yeah. say I'm backstage. This is backstage with Rick Cosnet, and I'm interviewing. Wonderful. Uh, Can you do that? And then talk about me. Yes, we'll talk about you. So, what do you think of Rick Cosnet? <laughs> yeah, gosh, I've just talked about myself this Have whole you conversation. Have to meet Rick Cosnet yet here in Heroes and <laughs> Yes. You can just publicize the hell out of me. That's what it's gonna I'm be. all for it. It's going to be a new show. Um, no, but I do. I love Atlanta. Um, I, I, for, uh, mostly for that reason. Yeah. This is my first time in Atlanta, so I'm, I flew in last night. I'm, I'm loving it. It's, Awesome. Where are you from? I'm actually from Philadelphia. Oh wow, yeah. that's great. So, Never been there, but I've always wanted to go to Philly. Yeah. It's very quintessential a of, American. A yeah, a lot of history. Right. Uh, Independence Hall, signing mm -hmm. of the Declaration of Independence, all that. We're so desensitized to it though because we're within minutes of it, so we never. Oh really? Right. And you grew up with all of that, yeah, whereas so I didn't, and yeah. I find it fascinating. That's why I love coming here to Atlanta. I mean, CNN centers outside. I didn't even know there's a big Ferris wheel outside. Oh really? Yeah, it's like a big sky thing. I saw it when I was sitting in traffic coming back. To the people in Atlanta are nice. They're kind. They're good, good Southern people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I don't want to take up any more of your time because uh, I know it's a busy. Well, really? Yeah, because I hate talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> but this it's is really uncomfortable for me. Uh, but uh, hopefully we get to see you again on the Flash. Yes, uh, or any I'm hoping. For, I'm, I'm, for yeah, I'm pushing for it too. So, season three. You never, Look out. You never know with the multiverse. Exactly. You never know. Rick, awesome, thank you man. again for being on stage with me and thank you for the interview. Oh, my pleasure. So, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.